Now to some video that's just now emerging two years after a high wire stunt featuring the Fane Walinda family that went horribly wrong. A warning this morning. Some people may find it they find it hard to watch. Here's NBC's Kerry Sanders. This morning, this video being made public for the first time. It shows the gut-wrenching moment the flying Walendas practicing a difficult and dangerous eight-person pyramid lost their balance and topple off the wire. Five members of the circus act plunging several stories to the ground. The seventh generation family of wire walkers were practicing the new stunt with no safety net. Overnight, Nick will end up posting on social media how painful it has been to see the video. I've shed a lot of tears if I'm being completely vulnerable, having to relive that accident yet again. Admitting that terrifying fall gave him a taste of PTSD. I know that I struggled with having to relive that accident and actually struggled with fear for the first time ever. All the way in. He said yeah. the fall was so bad it made him consider quitting the high wire for good. I'm almost ashamed to say that, but being honest with you, I came to that point. Just five weeks after that fall, Nick and the others involved talked Does to me about that awful moment in an exclusive interview. Everybody fought till the bitter end. Every single person fought as hard as they possibly could till the last second, till they couldn't hold on anymore. Among the most seriously injured Nick's sister, Liana. My mouth is wired shut. I broke every bone in my face, and so they had to put it all back together with, uh, I have three plates and 72 screws in my face. Nick and two others managing to grab onto the wire as they fell. Two years later, the daredevil troop all on the mend. My family, my friends are all doing amazingly well. In fact, all of them, with the exception of my sister, have been back on stage performing in one capacity or another, which is nothing short of miraculous. Reaffirming the Walenda family mantra, never give up. For today, Kerry Sanders, NBC News.